Hello, and today we're going to be demonstrating and speaking about bone marrow stem cell injections for cartilage growth. In this recent article dated October 2012, a comparison evaluation of stem cells that were harvested from both bone marrow and fat or adipose tissue mixed with PRP were evaluated for its ability to regenerate cartilage. This illustration shows the cartilage damage that was created for the study. From left to right, you can see the untreated, the PRP, the adipose, and the bone marrow defect as it heals at six weeks and 12 weeks. On closer evaluation, it is evident that the treatment with PRP and fat and bone marrow did significantly better. They then took samples and looked at them under microscope. Upon close examination of the untreated area, you can see that very little cartilage was regenerated. There is an improved situation with the PRP, however the defect is still present. And with bone marrow and adipose derived stem cells, the defect is smoothed over and there is significant chondrocyte and cartilage regeneration. Here at Gecko Joint and Spine, harvesting bone marrow for these treatments is both quick and painless. In the following demonstration, Dr. Chin is going to extract a sample of bone marrow aspirate from the iliac crest. Skin and the tissue all the way down to the bone is numbed up using a pain medication. So this patient will not feel this except for a little bit of pressure. And here Dr. Chin is extracting the bone marrow. Bone marrow treatments can be effective for virtually any joint in the body. The bone marrow aspirate is then further refined along with the patient's blood. Once these solutions are prepared, they are then injected under ultrasound guidance into the appropriate joints. Hi, and thanks for joining me. For more on these exciting regenerative therapies, go to geckojointandspine.com or you can email us at askdrgecko at gmail.com or call our office. Remember, if regeneration is possible, consider it to be within your reach. Bye for now.